When it comes to generative AI portraits, the topic of essence and identity is particularly intriguing. As an artist, I believe that the essence of a person goes beyond their physical appearance. It's the intangible qualities that make up a person's character, personality and soul. And while generative AI can produce images that look remarkably like the person it's modelled after, it's impossible for it to capture their essence in the same way that a human photographer might. That being said, I don't believe that generative AI portraits are inherently bad or unethical. They can serve as an interesting artistic experiment and raise important questions about identity and authenticity in the digital age. But it's crucial that we acknowledge their limitations and not mistake them for the real thing. As an artist, I'm always interested in exploring new forms of art and technology. I'm currently working on several projects that incorporate AI, and I'm excited to see how the field evolves in the coming years. Ultimately, I believe that the best art comes from a deep understanding of the human experience, and that's something that AI can't replicate. I believe that photography has a unique ability to capture and preserve memories of our loved ones. But with the rise of AI, there's been an increasing interest in using generative AI portraits to simulate the presence of a lost loved one. This raises questions about the role of essence and identity in AI portraits and how they compare to traditional photography. While AI portraits may be able to create a realistic likeness of a person, I don't believe they can truly replicate the essence of a person or capture the memories and emotions associated with traditional photography. In this sense, AI may never replace photography in terms of its ability to help us deal with grief. However, I do think that AI has the potential to prolong grief if not used in a thoughtful and responsible way. It's important to consider the ethical implications of using AI to create simulated conversations with a lost loved one or other forms of AI-generated content. It's essential that we remain mindful of the potential impact on individuals dealing with grief and ensure that AI is used in a way that respects the dignity and memory of the person we have lost. While AI has the potential to create new ways of experiencing and remembering our loved ones, I believe that traditional photography will always have a special place in our hearts and memories. We must approach the use of AI with caution and consideration to ensure that it enhances rather than detracts from our ability to cope with loss and grief.